What are some things you swear people pretend to like? Having happy birthday sung to them is your I pretend to like it, meanwhile feeling uncomfortable. I'm not sure if this is what you're looking for, but the people who post the happiest, loviest, sappiest Facebook posts about their significant others are always the ones fighting so much and miserable behind the scenes in my experience. So, in the case of those people, I guess each other? Definitely what I'm looking for. That's sad on another level. I'm still convinced that most flat earthers don't actually believe the earth is flat but are just throwing things out there to fuck with the true believers. Who are, of course, also trolls just spouting bullshit to fuck with true believers. I really really want to believe this, but I've met a lot of fucking stupid people. Instagram influencers we all know those perfect lives are fake. Or to put it more broadly, all seemingly perfect lives on social media in general. Pictures of newborns they all look the same to me. Even when they don't look the same. Newborns are some of the ugliest creatures on God's green earth. Wrinkly. Flailing. Wrong side of the uncanny valley. No teeth having. Little weirdos. Toddlers are freaking adorable though. God invented oxytocin because if we weren't chemically addicted to our offspring we'd probably throw them out the window after the first night. Having kids. The top hits in any genre of music. When I talk about music with most people or if I'm allowed to go through someone's music collection, they always have a ton of favorite songs or artists that are never heard on the radio. Ever. Lots of people love pop music but never admit it publicly. I feel like most people's over the age of 13. Favorite music is an underscore only underscore top hits. But it's stuff that's easy to listen to. Catchy. And a lot of young people will enjoy listening to. I don't like pop music very much. But I'd rather listen to that than metal music I don't like. Because the pop music isn't jarring to my ears. Also, there's millions of people whose favorite artists are Ed Sheeran. Camila Cabello, Ariana Grande, or other top artists. So I DK about your second statement. Alcohol's taste. Partying at loud clubs. Try drugs. Other people's Facebook statuses. Kale. But, but I really do like Kale. All female reboots of movie franchises. I don't get how this empowers anyone either. Like oh, look, woman got the sloppy seconds of something men did a while ago no one cares about now. Original ideas. Sure, not a reboots. I just like seeing women doing things. Things that aren't being someone's romantic interest or mother. Clothes and accessories from famous fashion brands. Especially when they're plastered with logos. The Great Gatsby. The book is fine, but extremely overrated since it was so hyped up. I don't like it as much as I might have otherwise. The neighbor's kids. Me sad face. You're lucky if other people pretend to like you. I don't have that issue. Work. I don't know. Suddenly having none of it really makes me appreciate having at least a bit of it in my life. Wish I had your work ethic. I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Disagreed. Working as a doctor. There is nothing like a feeling of satisfaction from a well-done job that resulted in survival, improvement of someone's quality of life, though you could still hate some parts of it. Fisting. Sex. Loved seeing this. I'm not alone. Ace. Really expensive wine. It's possible of course to tell the difference between good, average, and bad wine but how many people can really taste the difference between $100 wine and $500 wine? Just saw a post the other day where they had wine experts rating wines from really cheap to really expensive. They couldn't tell which was which. Baseball I say this as a baseball fan. Best description I've heard of baseball is the lovely day at the park where once in a while a sports thing happens. Light beer in general. I don't relate, there are a time to have a real beer. And then there's times when you should really be drinking water. But you want a beer anyway. And that's where light beer shines to me. You mean like at breakfast? I mean I have 27 cans of red dog so. I'm willing to bet most people only drink it because it's cheap and they don't actually like beer. 
As I've grown older it's becoming more attractive because it doesn't sit heavy in my stomach like the double IPAs and stouts of my 20s do. Ranch dressing with hot wings. Blue cheese is obviously the superior choice. Fine china dishes and utensils. I have never seen them anywhere except an attic. That kombucha stuff. I can't imagine people love drinking something that tastes like straight vinegar. Ha 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 I love kombucha. I like the vinegar flavor is so tangy. I like the vinegar taste but I also like drinking just vinegar. My favorites are apple cider and balsamic. White vinegar is just bland. It turns out people actually sell flavored drinking vinegar as a beverage but that stuff was too sweet and artificial for me so I went back to just drinking normal vinegar when no one is around. Running. We all know you secretly hate it but are trying to outrun your hideous neuroses. I really hate it but I hate being out of shape more. Nah. I love running. It's one of the very few ways I actually get endorphins going through my body that makes me feel good. I'm a single gal who has never been in a long-term relationship but it seems like a lot of people are faking how much they like being in one. I'm not saying it's impossible but it really can be amazing. You just need to find someone that is compatible. I kind of thought the same as you before dating someone. But really it's kind of like any other relationship in your life. It brings tons of enjoyment. As long as it's the right person for you. Oh totally agree that some people feel that way. I'm just saying I'm sure there are some people faking it. No cap. Exercise. Not the. Don't break a sweat but the factual of sweating and feeling no air in your lungs is crap. Turkey on Thanksgiving. It's dry tasteless meat. I think the festivity of the season makes people pretend to like it. If all the turkey you've had is dry and tasteless, it was cooked wrong, overcooked. A properly cooked and basted turkey is moist and delicious. You haven't had good turkey then. And that's no disrespect to whoever has cooked it for you. And it can also be the turkey you eat. Maybe try to buy a turkey from a local farmer or hunter if possible. Try smoking the turkey instead of cooking it in an oven. That's what my mom does and it's delicious. Licorice. Where? Gimme gimme. Feet pics. Pregnancy. I have done it more than once. And it wasn't fun ever. The women who are like, I love being pregnant, are goddamn liars and heathens to boot themselves. Brussels sprouts and Kardashians. Please don't lump Brussels sprouts in with plastic ass heifers. Mrs. Brown's boys. Coconut water. It tastes like water that's already been in someone's mouth. TikTok. It annoys the living hell out of me. But at the same time everybody I know loves and actively uses it. Billie Eilish. Her music is basically Lana Del Rey minus any emotion and people only like her because she's young and somehow became popular. As a fan of both, Eilish's music is much more upbeat and modern than anything Lana has ever done. Not even remotely the same. Lana is reinventing old Americana. Eilish is creating new pop. It's just the right amount of emotional for us Zoomers. We're very understated as a generation. Grand gestures and themes in our media aren't desirable and our scene is fake. Sex. For years I thought it was just a myth and that no one could actually really seriously do that. Then I found out about asexuality. Great! You thought the procreation of the human species throughout history was a myth. Having kids and raising kids. I'm always inclined to say something like going to clubs or festivals but then I remembered drugs. Exist. Sex. I could honestly go the rest of my life without having sex and be just fine. What I really crave is romance and emotional intimacy. Asexuals be like, ace high five. Money heist, is actually quite good. I mean even the new episodes. I loved the original run. I have only seen the first two seasons. I need to continue the other two. Maybe I'm biased because I haven't heard Spanish in so long. I'm a genuine fan. Season 4 was a bit shit. The pain of a tattoo, like STFU about how it's relaxing to you. 
fro yo, let's stop lying to ourselves it's one meh, not on the same level as gelato or ice cream monsieur. Michael from The Good Place nailed the point perfectly. Disagree. Depending on the ice cream I'd say frozen yogurt can be better sometimes. All foreigners who say they like Sweden. Canadian here. I visited Sweden and I liked it very much. I thought people were pleasant. The city's beautiful and I felt very safe. Why wouldn't a foreigner like Sweden? Do you mean immigrants who live in Sweden and pretend to like it? Are you good looking? Get out. I love Sweden. Went there and had the greatest time. Ah ha 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 made my day as a Danish person. I loved the Danish-Swedish rivalry. It's so cute. Yes and when other people try to make fun we either defend the other or join in on the bullying. Depending on the topic. No one fucks with Vikings. Coffee. Even if I put in syrup, milk, sugar and all that it just tastes bitter. I convinced people just get addicted to it but don't actually like it. I like many kinds of coffee but usually just drink it black. I only drink it when I feel like it which might be once or twice a week. How bitter it is depends what kind you are getting. I've even had coffee that tasted a lot like tea. I never heard of people adding syrup to regular coffee. I'm a barista that didn't like coffee when I started working. I wound up liking sweet stuff like caramel latte, where the coffee is barely present. It's more about the milk or syrup. Maybe try that. I very slowly kept trying other coffees and getting used to them, and reducing the sugar per coffee. But you don't have to like all kinds of coffee. Anyway why I made this comment. I only drink coffee at work since it's convenient but I do really enjoy the taste. But it's been a month since I worked because of lockdown and I haven't had coffee since. So it's not addiction or anything. Sparkling water. Living. Instagram Monsieur. Cauliflower. I love cauliflower. You should try broccoli. It's like cauliflower but doesn't suck. Broccoli is great too. I just make them in different ways. I love both. I'd prefer cauliflower actually. That is so fucking accurate. Cauliflower rules. Jazz music. Slam poetry. Those giant milkshakes with candy all over the outside and donuts on the top that people Instagram. That look like they are 8,000 calories that you can't figure out how you even eat one without getting covered in it, without most of it melting. And they cost like $40. Also, the alcoholic drinks where they do similar things that are grossly overpriced with burgers in chickens attached to a Bloody Mary and it's mostly for the picture because nobody can actually drink it and who wants pieces of burger or shrimp or onion rings floating in their drink. Are you for real? Jazz music? Jazz music is like the dopest shit right behind dope. You lost me at jazz, but picked me back up right away with slam poetry and took it for a home run with ridiculous drinks. Jazz is good background music. Especially with a drink. Anal. Sauerkraut nasty. Operas. Yeah, I've been to a few. Some of them can be a little boring. I love the crazy voice ranges that the performers have though. TikTok, I feel a lot of people just do it because it's popular also football. Other people's babies. No, your baby is a cute. They look like every other ugly baby in the world. All babies are ugly. Scotch their job, their workmates. Lots of people talk about what they would do after receiving lots of money. And it's often two things. One, quit their job and two, tell their co-workers what they really think of the monsieur. Coffee. Don't get me wrong, I have two cups a day, but is it really that good? I genuinely like the taste of coffee. Meryl Streep. Post Malone. Yeah he has a few decent songs. Nothing special whatsoever. Broccolini. My hospital doesn't have that many choices for side items so many people order it. It's amusing to me that so many patients pretend to like it. But they simply don't eat it since it's so terrible. Properly roasted broccoli, Brussels sprouts, or asparagus are so much better. My hospital serves that. It would be more efficient to just put it in the trash rather than give it to patients the Beatles. 
Not saying that they aren't good. But I see the Abbey Road cover on the shirts of every middle school and high school wannabe hipster in America and it makes me wonder if they can even name a song other than Hey Jude. Naming songs is kind of a weird gatekeeping for things. Especially music. 80% of the music I have I can sing along to quite easily. Remembering the name of each individual song unless I really like the song is a rarity. I like the Beatles. I never went out of my way to listen to their music. But I could probably sing along to whichever tracks they used in Across the Universe because I loved the music. Yeah maybe I was wrong to use the example of naming songs as even a true fan may forget them. But I know that this is a growing trend. It is the same I was born in the wrong era of middle schoolers and high schoolers that wear Nirvana. Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, and Ozzy Osbourne shirts and wear hip chains that aren't actually connected to wallets and fake combat boots and shit. Half the time they don't know the music or appreciate the artistry and just wear it so others think they are a retro. Here's the thing, while I consider the Beatles to be the luckiest average garage band ever, I still love them this year they were part of the soundtrack to my life. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.